Welcome back everyone, it's Sylvia here and I have another 12x12 layout for you. This is my fourth layout for Auntie Vera's Scrap and Craft and I am documenting my son's COVID test. One of my core products for the month of July is this gorgeous die set from Crazy Craft and this die is called Fob Watch. I absolutely love it. And as you can see, I cut out a whole heap of these Fob Watches just using some scrap white card stock that I had in my stash. I just thought I'd use up all my white scraps and cut out quite a heap. And this blue piece of paper is just a scrap that I found that I thought went quite well. And I wasn't sure if I was going to use it, but spoiler alert, I do land up using that beautiful shiny piece of scrap paper. You can see that I am just trying to find the placements of all these fob watches, and I will admit that that did take me a considerable amount of time. I had no idea how I wanted this layout to look. All I knew was that I wanted to use the fob watches because I wanted to represent the passing of time and not just the passing of time during these crazy times but also all the things that we took for granted in before the COVID like um, I never thought that I'd miss his swimming training. I miss my son swimming. I miss the whole social side of swimming. There's a lot of things that I took for granted in our life and now that that's taken away from us I realized how much it meant to me as well as to my son. So yeah, learning curve and I cannot wait till things to get back to a more normal whatever normal is going to be in the future. So once I was happy with the placement of my fob watches I did glue everything down and it was now time to give this layout a coaching of gesso. The reason why I'm adding gesso to this whole page is because I knew that I was going to start using different mediums. At this point, I don't know what I'm going to use exactly, but I knew that it was the whole page is going to get a little bit wet, if not a lot, and gesso just adds that protective coating to my paper. I did dry my paper with my heat gun and this will be my first layer of colour and I am using Kaiser Crafts Kaiser Mist and the colour was aqua and then I went in with this gorgeous Dina Wakely acrylic paint. It's one of my new toys that I did purchase from Auntie Vera Scrap and Craft because she has got them at ridiculously low prices. But anyway, this is the lovely colour called turquoise and I should add that I did dry my first layer of that aqua colour and then I added this second layer of yumminess. Um, I just love how it all turned out. So as you could, would have seen, I did start off with the packaging technique and then I decided that I really wanted to highlight some of the, well, the fob watches. So I'm just going in with a very wet paintbrush. So, and what I'm doing with my little paintbrush is just mixing that. And what I love is that none of the fob watches look exactly the same because the the paint and the water and also the aqua mist they all activated with the water that was in the paintbrush, and they all came out in different tones of blues. And I just love that; it gave it so much interest. I am loving my background so far, but now I wanted to add some texture. So I mixed this product, it's Liquitex Natural Sand, and it does have that feeling of sand when you rub it between, you know, wet sand when you rub it between your fingers, it feels like that. And I just mixed it with some Dina Weekly acrylic paint, and the color is Sky. And what I'm going to do is, once it's all mixed, I'm going to take out one of my new presents and this is the Rangers, I think it's called Mixed Media Tool, I can't remember. But anyway, I just put it onto the little scraper there and I just started scraping it onto my layout. I didn't want to use my spatula on my layout because I didn't want to overwhelm the whole layout. So just by doing it this way, I'm just adding bits of texture and just a few little highlights here and there and I love the end result. These photos are of my son as we were waiting for him to get his COVID test in and the reason why he had to get it done was because he had woken up that morning and he said he was not feeling 100% and the school would not allow him into school when I rang him and I said look he, he probably can go to school he's just you know just a bit under the weather and they went no he can't come back now till he gets a COVID test in so I 
put him in the car and lined up for well over an hour, but the test came back negative, uh, but positive to some sort of strain of the cold virus, whatever it was. And I can now rest in peace knowing that my son's not going to ever say, Mum, I don't feel like going to school today just to get a day at home because I don't think he found the whole thing very pleasant, the nose swab and the mouth swab, not to mention the cranky mama sitting in the car going, oh, what a waste of my day, you know, it's, this is taking all morning, I had things to do, da 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 you better be sick, you better not be, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Poor kid. Turns out he did have the cold and he was able to go back to school within a couple of days. Okay, that's enough waffling and it's time to get back to the layout. So my next layer on this mixed media page is to use this lovely stencil from Tim Holtz. It's called Stitch and I did miss the footage. I lost all the footage of my stenciling, but we all know how it's done. And next it was time to do some stamping. I wanted to add a little bit of black and the stamp that I chose is another one of my new toys that I purchased from Auntie Vera. It is from Bow Bunny and it's called I Heart Stamps and I love it. I'm not using the heart section, I'm using the stars, the, the stars that look like they're cascading. And the reason for adding the black was the photo's got a lot of black in it as well as the blue and I just wanted to and incorporate a bit more of that black color into the layout and just to help things stand out a little bit. I do like the end result, so I'm glad I did add it. And here, dear friends, is where I go into damage control. If you see that second fob watch, I've absolutely ruined it when I was doing my stamping. I smudged some of that archival black ink onto that fob watch and it looks terrible. If you know about the Rangers archival ink, it is permanent. So that smudge is there forever and I had to somehow try to fix my layout and save it. So my thought was to incorporate some more grey into my layout because there is a bit of grey in my son's jumper. There's a bit of grey in the seat that you can't really see. But I thought if I add some grey, I will, might be able to save this layout. So the colour that I'm using is a Distress Oxide and the colour is Hickory Smoke and I'm just using one of those lovely blending brushes that I love so much and just adding grey to every every alternate fob watch. So in total, I think there's going to be three fob watches that I've added grey to. I'm now going to go in with black soot as you can still see those horrible smudges and I thought that by adding a bit of their black soot, I, black soot <laughs> I might be able to try and disguise it a bit. So I'm just rubbing it in with the brush and also blending it in with my finger. It's not really going the way I want it. I'm in complete panic mode by now and I thought you know what get my brush add some water to the layout and see how this will all mix with the hickory smoke and the all the lovely colors of blue that I have there if I add some water and they all start interacting what will happen that is my crazy thought behind it and I must admit I was completely stressing out at this point as you can I don't know if you can see but it is sort of working I'm disguising those smudges a little bit better but it's adding a little bit too much grey for my liking. I'm almost in tears by now, but I decided to keep all this in because I just want to show to everyone that no matter what you do, no matter how you ruin a layout, you can always come back for, from it. And that is exactly what I did here. I'm, I'm almost in tears because, you know, I've got all those black swatches, but then I decided, you know what, I wanted more of that blue in, let's do some more painting and I'm just using that turquoise colour again from Dina Wakeley's acrylic paints and painting over the fob watches that does work to a degree but it then becomes too turquoisey. Is turquoisey even a word? Anyway turquoisey it is going to be. I decided to repeat the process of before so I get my aqua aqua kaiser mist and spray it all around then I'm adding some blue these blue splatters and yes I am liking it I sort of think oh yes I get excited here I start thinking I can save this layout I'll just add a bit more color to it 
I'm going to cut this video short because I did do many many layers of different shades of blue I went between I alternated between the aqua mist and or the aqua kaiser mist I should say and also the turquoise then awakely acrylic paint and I just kept working at it till I was happy with the end result so everything is dry now and I'm just going to be showing you that I cut about a centimeter of all four sides and I'm going to be mounting my layout onto this gorgeous paper that I had in my stash and then I'm going to be playing with the photo plays living the quarantine life ephemera pack this is part of our core products for July and they're also on sale at Auntie Vera Land. I really did want to use that class of 2020 with the little toilet paper rolls but I just couldn't make it work no matter what I did so I landed up finding this little die which which has a which is a little mask and I thought yes I've got to use the mask because this is what this whole layout is about and it's at this point that I realized oh I can take out those little uh, middle bits of the, the die and I took them out how silly am I that I didn't really look at that and I did play around with all my ephemera for quite a while before I worked out the placements. I don't know why I kept insisting that I had to use it a certain way. Then I saw this tag and it says hashtag fight COVID-19 and I thought yes I've got to use that. And I thought well back to the back to the masks and really I should have I could have used the class of 2020 but I didn't. And the world, the other second mask, I wanted a second mask, so I just fussy cut it from the world map and then used half of the world map down the bottom there and it all turned out fabulously, or at least I think so. Adding a bit of journaling and my layout is almost complete. Oh yes, this is where I decided I wanted something around my whole page. I thought about adding stitching and then I think, you know what, I've got this gorgeous stamp set and the stamp is from photo play as well and it's also called living the quarantine life and I'm just going to stamp all around my layout so all four sides are going to get this lovely little square stamp and that just gave it the finishing touch that my layout needed okay so that's the end of my stamping I cut it short because it was pretty repetitive and here are some close-ups I want to thank you all for watching and supporting my, my small channel. I would love it if you subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell notification so you are notified whenever I do upload to my channel. I do try to upload weekly so that you have some weekly inspiration for you to scrap all those lovely photos that you all have. I will hope you're all well. Until next time, take care everybody. Bye.